Okay, so today I'll show you how to do a inversion on the mileage readout, and you can do this on the this is on an O2 WRX cluster, and you can also probably do this on any other cluster. So I'm just going to speed this up since I've already done another video. All right, and that's the part you want to get it down to, and I'll show you the rest in the next part. Okay, so for the next step, you're gonna take a razor blade or a knife, and you're gonna take you want to take the film off the top layer of this this screen. You're gonna be really careful to get it under wedged. Slowly peel it up. So be very careful. You want to break either the screen or the film, really. All right, and now what this is is a polarized film, and you're not going to need this anymore. But what we're going to try to do. So instead of that, um, you turn it 180, and as you can see, you've already done what you needed. But that's the what we're doing. You also want to get all this residue off, any sticky you want to get out, because that will come up in the screen. So just take some alcohol wipes or rubbing alcohol and put it on the end of a q-tip and just let it soak for a second and start rubbing it now there's two things that you can do from here on you can um, use the strip that you originally used just clear it off like that take all the, the adhesive off and then actually instead of using this side down you flip it and it'll give you your, uh, your shaded effect your blacked out effect or you can go to Edmund um, optics.com and purchase a film. It's uh, pretty cheap, but it's also thicker and more durable. So when you go to use this, you can um, have a nicer fit. You can uh, have it out however dark you want, so that I'd be all the way light. And as you turn it, you can see how dark it can get to all the way dark. And you just want to cut. Right there, right here, right there, and at the top. I would just score it and then cut it with scissors. There's going to be a film on it, so you're going to have to take off um, a film on it. And just cut its size and basically just put it back together after that. Okay, so since uh, this is my backup cluster, I'm just going to put the... The film that came on it back on, it's not perfect, but like I said, this is an extra cluster that I have that I just use for experiments. So what you want to do is, um, you know, just basically put dabs of glue on four parts, the four corners, and um, it should be pretty good. You can use um, like 3M adhesive to spray on the spray back here and then put it on top like you would a, a screen protector on your iPod but I'm horrible at that so I might as well just set it on top and make sure it doesn't move it's not going to um, affect how it works if it's not 100% uh, all the way down so as long as it stays in position and stays on you're not going to have a problem and plus you're going to be stacking all the other stuff right on top of it so yeah, that's what I did instead of using the Edmund 
because I want to save this for another cluster project that I have. Now to put it back together, just do the reverse order you did to take it apart. And there you go, it's all back together. Okay, and this is what your uh, finished product is going to look like after you did the LED um, odometer uh, inversion. So I already put a light changing bulb on the back of it. You can choose whatever color you want. Just leave it on all the time as one color. Or I, like I said, I just went through all the cycles of all the colors.